Hi friends, and sorry for the short absence here. I have been working the weekdays and enjoying the Finnish summer during the weekends. Lots of sun, lots of festivals. But now it's time to get back to YouTube game and investing game. I have a new position that I have just opened today and we are gonna discuss that one next. With this new position, I am hoping the price, uh, stock price to continue going downwards because I'm trying to build a bigger position here slowly. The company is called Amsterdam Commodities and despite the name, it's not a weed stock, it's not a cannabis stock, but actually not too far away from one as they do sell green leaves. And I'm gonna let now ticker.com explain to you what Amsterdam Commodities, commodities is about. Let's go. Amsterdam Commodities NV, together with its subsidiaries, sources, processes, treats, trades, packages and distributes natural food products and ingredients for the food and beverage industry worldwide. The company operates in five segments, spices and nuts, edible seeds, tea, food ingredients and organic in ingredients. It offers tropical products such as pepper products, nutmeg and desiccated coconut products, shelled and unshelled nuts, dried fruits, dehydrated vegetables, herbs, chocolates, rice crackers and snack products. The company also sources, produces packages and provides sunflower, poppy, sesame, pumpkin, caraway, blue poppy, linseed, flax, millet, chia, quinoa and other seeds, bakery ingredients, bird food ingredients and special crops, sun butter, a sunflower butter and sun tea, a high protein plant-based flour as well as processes and distributes poppy seeds for the confection, spice and bakery industries. In addition, it supplies tea to, to the private and public sectors and produces and distributes food ingredients comprising meat tastes, yeast extracts, vegetable tastes, cheese tastes, spices and herbal blends, natural cor colorings, texturizers, sweeteners and vegetarian Worcester sauce. Further, the company offers organic cocoa and coffee products, frozen fruits and vegetables, nuts and dried fruits, oils and juices. Amsterdam Commodities NV was founded in 1819, that is 1819, and is based in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Next up, let's go through the pros and cons with the, with the company, and let's start with the things I like about Amsterdam Commodities. Firstly, it's a very niche operator in the specialized food industry, stable and boring business, low threat of new competition. Second, why is it stable? Well, the most beautiful things in life are the most simplest ones, in my opinion. The company offers products to a wide range of other companies operating in the food industry. And food is something that always stays trendy, no matter what the economy is doing. People need to eat every day and for the luckiest people on earth like me, food is something to be enjoyed about every day. Third, Amsterdam Commodities is successful acquirer of smaller niche businesses in its industry. There is the consolidation aspect with the company that I find myself often liking with also other companies and industries. They have made many acquisitions in the past, most of them surely quite successful and so the company has a track record of doing acquisitions pretty well. And finally, based in the Netherlands, but also operating globally. So the risks should be geographic, geographically spread in terms of climate change and, and geopolitics, for example. Also, I would describe their portfolio of companies and products sufficiently diversified from the risk perspective. As, as you saw in the introduction of the company, there was quite a lot in, in their portfolio. So short-term risks materializing in one segment of the business shouldn't bring the whole business down, let's say so. Then the cons. Uh, what, what do I not like about the company? Well, they do have debt, but taken into account the nature of the trading business, I cannot see anything too alarming in the company's financials. So actually, there is not much not to like about uh, in Amsterdam commodities, commodities, in my opinion. And then when you have such a I would say a strong company, um, then it's only a matter of valuation and the price you need to pay for the company, I would say. And from the valuation perspective, as the stock is now trading between 19 and half and 20 euros, I think it is fairly valued for 10% annual returns right now. And this is where I want, wanted to start building my position. 
I hope it goes down so I can buy more, obviously, starting with a small position now. It's only really small part of my portfolio right now. I feel confident that I understand the business well enough as it is inside my circle of competence as a food business. And I believe the company has somewhat of a moat. I would claim the moat relies on long customer relationships they have, knowledge on the markets and established position within their own niches and economies of scale uh, can be further, further achieved with good acquisitions going forward like they have already done in the past. Food industry is about niches and volume. Uh, these are the main reasons why I start building a position right here, right now. A good panic in the EU market or globally and this company could be even better opportunity in the future. Who knows? Well, nobody knows and that's why I wanted to start building my position now. If I would see the company going lower, I would definitely be more happy and find, find capital to be deployed into Amsterdam commodities. This is my plan at least now. So, a new position started and new adventure has begun again with a new company. Uh, for future updates, subscribe to the channel, like this video if you feel like it, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye!